Hello, good morning as I normally say, but good afternoon today. Hello, hi, I am Astrid. I always forget to introduce myself. I am Astrid, I am Wattle and Wool, and this is Advent. It is actually day 11. However, I realised yesterday... <coughs> Excuse me. I realized yesterday as I was uploading, uh, well, trying to upload, it's taking a long time. As I was uploading, um, I only opened five out of my seven advents. So, I mean, excusable, but I clearly have to rectify this today. So we're going to get bonus advents today. So let's get started with ste uh, the steampunk from Ash and Eve Designs. This is today's colour, it is called Oxidation and it is so beautiful. As always, I love everything that Ajanive makes. So this is Oxidation for the 11th. Day 11 for Daffodil Road Yarns is Black currant? No, blackberry. Let me check. Yesterday was, was black currant. Today's is blackberry. <laughs> so this is blackberry. Oh, these colors are just so vibrant. I've been making a cake for uh, work. I've got, I'm on morning tea tomorrow, so I'm feeling all shiny and sweaty. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I'm coming across looking like a Christmas angel, obviously. Day 11 for Wool and Works is this beautiful blue. Day 11 for the Olivia and Oliver fibers is this one. I can't really see much. This is the colour. It's like a neutral, like a very, I would call this a true neutral. So this is Huacachina. The city of Huacachina was built around a natural oasis in the sand dunes of Peru. The waters of the oasis were once believed to have healing powers and it was during the 1960s that the town became a resort for wealthy Peruvians coming to take advantage of those therapeutic properties. Day 11 of Circus Tonic Handmade. And a gold paperclip thing, paper binder, just flew out at me. So that is an extra for today. Okay, we have two of these. <clears throat> so day 10 was scissors. And now for day 11, <laughs> day 11 is a little cup, if you can see that, and the backing says coffee. That's really cute. I like these themed backings as well, they're really fun. And I'm going to get up really carefully because I have got a lit candle, and let's get the botanical yarns. Again, we're just continuing this beautiful fade. So this was day seven, eight, nine, and then we've got 10 and 11. Oh, I can't wait to see what these ones are. I hope there's a green, I love green. So I'm excited. <laughs> this is so much fun. So I have not been up to too much. Yesterday I recorded quite late in the afternoon. I really wasn't up to very much and I ended up going out for a party and it was really fun. Uh, it finished quite early so I was back in bed by midnight, so before I turned into a pumpkin. And then today I woke up, had a bit of a sleep in which is nice, got down to the cafe, the local cafe, because they have these amazing pancakes. And 
Their pancakes are monthly themes and this one is gingerbread and I wanted it so badly. And as I was in the line, they put up a sign that said sold out and I was like, <laughs> and then I had to watch them like carry it out to people and they kept moving past me with their gingerbread and I just wanted them. So I said, is there any way that I could possibly like pre-order some for next week so that I can definitely get them because I just really want them. And they were like, no, I don't think so. And then the waitress, because I go there all the time, the waitress was like, let me talk to the manager. And the manager, who I didn't realize was the manager, I thought that Connie was just one of the girls who works there all the time, but Connie's actually a manager now. So cool. And Connie was like, yeah, for VIPs, absolutely. So now I've got two pancakes reserved for next week, which is so kind. So I'm gonna take mum. And we're gonna have little pancakes Sunday. I just wanted to make sure I got them. So that was a really beautiful moment. And then I went to Carousel, which is like the main shopping centre near me. And oh my goodness, it was so busy. Like I had to park across a main, a six lane road, uh, like three lanes going one way, three lanes going the other. I had to park across that and then run across uh, just to be able to get into the shops because I was like, I am not playing around with this parking. And I was just so over it. So that was not as much fun as it could have been. Uh, I did get some really nice things though. And I ended up getting a photo frame and I wanted to show you. So this, I actually bought it off Facebook. It was like a Facebook ad. I just, I'm worried about the reflection, but I think you can see the most of it. So this was off, this was off a Facebook ad. I think I've actually hung it upside down. Yes, I've hung it upside down. Excellent. This is off, off a Facebook ad. And basically the guy uh, mapped out all the indigenous tribes in Australia, or not tribes, all the indigenous nations in Australia. And then he's labeled it onto a map, which I think is just so cool. And so because my cast, we do a lot of uh, uh, ownership of country and a lot of connection to country. And I just thought it would be perfect to put in my classroom. So I bought that and then I, it was just like loose and I needed a frame. So I thought instead of getting it properly framed, which is going to cost buttloads, this was a $20 frame. And that way, if it gets accidentally broken, it's 20 bucks and it's okay. Uh, yeah, so that was what I did today. And then I came home and my best friend came over and I tried on the bridesmaid dress, which I will put at the end of this. And yeah, it was, it's quite a lovely time. We had tea. And then I made a cake, which hopefully will be done by the time I upload this so I can add in some footage of the cake. And then mum and my sister and I, we are going to watch something. It could either be the Netflix Harry and Meghan thing, mostly because my mum loves watching it and I love watching my mum because I think that her obsession with it is ridiculous and I think it's funny. Or we're going to watch Lady Chatterley's Lover, which apparently is a really good movie. TV show thing on Netflix. So either one of those two we are going to watch. It shall be a lovely time. That's it really. That's, that's all I've got to show you. It's been a very like busy weekend, but also very quiet. Like I feel like I haven't done a lot that deserves recognition and the things that I have done, I can't really show you because I don't want to film in them because they're like private events. So it's just been advents, <laughs> which is always nice. Oh, I did get, um, I will show you uh, on Christmas Day, but I did get a box uh, of Beatrix Potter Christmas Morning from Lovely Little Yarns, and I'm really excited about it. I love Beatrix Potter, and I might have had a sneak peek because I can't resist, but I will probably have forgotten by the time it gets to Christmas Day. So on Christmas morning, I get to open up my bottom drawer, which is all my presents to myself, and I'm so excited. Does anyone else do this? Does anyone else like stockpile presents? I know my mum does. My mum... She like gets things throughout the year and she's like, oh, it's too indulgent for me to use it right now. So then she like stockpiles them until Christmas when she can give them to herself. Does anyone else do that? No, just, just us. Okay. Uh, let me know. <laughs> All right. I will see you tomorrow for even more Advent and it's the last week of school. I, yeah, good Lord. That's terrifying. Okay. That's it. This is a quick, very quick one. Bye. So I talked before, I think it was actually last advent, uh, about how I really wanted to start cooking through this, the Amber and Rye Baltic food journey. So today I made the spiced pumpkin cheesecake. So this is what it's meant to look like. And this is mine. What it's meant to look like? Mine.
the idea, the reality. <laughs> but to be perfectly honest, this actually tastes delicious. So I'm very happy. And I tried to do like a marling effect. It hasn't really worked, but that's okay. And then I also made, let's see if I can turn ooh, to the page. It was a salad one. Um, come on. Turn to the page. This one. Roasted buckwheat salad with sea buckthorn dressing. So that's what it's meant to look like. Mine definitely doesn't, <laughs> but it looks good enough. So we'll give it a go. I really do like this book though. For example, uh, it says, um, slide the cheesecake onto the middle shelf and cook for five minutes, then lower the oven temperature to 160 degrees and cook for an hour and a quarter, so one and a quarter hours or until belly set. Turn off the oven and leave the cheesecake inside to cool. Like it's just so detailed. I really enjoy it. Plus, oh, this book is just so beautiful. So this is the cake. It's probably going to sit here. I am taking it to work with me tomorrow, so it'll be all right if I just sit here. It's not too cold or too warm. This is my two serves of overnight oats and chia seeds, which I've just finished mostly mixing. And now you get to join me in the problem of where to put it because my sister is home and she is currently staying with us. And she also likes to meal prep. And you will see the problem that we've got in our house. So come with me to the fridge. Nice fridge, nothing really in there. Yeah, she's a bit packed. So those are mine. That's not mine. That's mine. That's mine. That's not. Those aren't. Those aren't. Behind there is. The baby beetroots are. And then that's just like family food. So yeah, my sister and I, we are battling over fridge space. I've got all my beautiful um, face masks in here. But I think I'm going to try and slot it in on the ham and just hope for the best. All right, this is a little video of me in the bridesmaid's dress. This side is amazing. This side. Who is it, Bishop Justin? <laughs> He's not going to like me. We're going to have issues. Can you imagine me dancing? I'm like, bang, bang, whoopsies. Yeah. But this dress, this color, I'm excited.